check this out guys I am here today at the living desert I'm here to take an Instagram photo for a one ounce gold bar um, and I want to do it here I think this is the shot how cool is that something different something unique this is my favorite place the living desert in my old town where I was born and raised Palm Desert California in the Coachella Valley so I want to take the day trip out here but knowing me I have to justify that much time so I'm working I'm doing a video getting some exercise and of course seeing all this nature so I'm gonna do this Instagram post with that being said let's get started and here's the piece being featured today shout out to Christopher this is his piece the one ounce 14k white gold bar on a five millimeter diamond cut rope chain very nice setup very heavy I think 70 grams a little over 70 grams so it's a lot of weight around the neck um, in my opinion this is one of the nicest pieces you can buy as far as gold very tough to make if you know casting if you know jewelry you'll know why I said that um, to get it looking perfect like it is. Very nice. So definitely worth the feature. Thank you, Christopher, for shopping Jakoji. The only thing faster than Jakoji shipping time are those creatures right there, the cheetahs relaxing in the shade on this hot day here at the Living Desert. All right, guys, it feels good to be outside. Like, look at me. I'm in the middle of the desert, but I'm in, like, an enchanted forest. I just hope no rattlesnakes come out and say hello. But... I've been running into an issue and I've been kind of bummed about it. It's kind of my fault and other factors. The main thing is the factories in Italy are closed for the month of August. And that problem presented itself when you go on Jacoji.com and the good chains are out of stock. Um, a lot of people have been bringing that to my attention. A lot of the emails I get are when is this chain going to be back? When is that bracelet going to be back? And it's tough because I don't have them to make videos and that's what I truly love to do. You have kind of the build videos where we're making jewelry. We have the jewelry review of like celebrity jewelers and then now you have more vlog style videos um, and the chains being out of stock really made me do these type of videos because I love doing YouTube videos. It's what I need to do. Um, but I haven't been able to do the typical Jacoji when we compare flat curbs to Miami's. You guys know the size and if you've noticed there hasn't been a lot of those videos because I don't have gold chains. So it's been a problem. Me when I'm eating Chipotle. What a legend. Me after I eat my Chipotle. Me an hour later after I just ate my Chipotle burrito looking for another one. Now I know some people might be thinking, Brain, if this is such a big problem, why do you buy from Italy? Why do you allow this to happen? Um, for me, it was my fault with one, gold is rising and unstable. From the consumer end, you guys, it's a good market, but from buyers, importers, it's very scary because the price keeps going up and a lot of factors make people nervous, um, especially like me. I don't know how much to order when I place my orders before August until now I'm looking at about four to $5,000 increase just on the gold price alone. So those are things you have to factor in. Another thing is for Jacoji, if I want to be the best in the world, which I do, I work very hard, I need to buy the best. It's as simple as that. Italian chains are hands down the best chains made in the world. You have generations and generations of people that have the experience and like with anything, that's what you need, the knowledge and experience. I had somebody tell me or make a comment saying, gold is gold, why would Italian gold be different? Or, or higher it's simple because of the import tax if you go to these smaller countries there's no tax when you import that's why most of the rope chains are made in South America Peru because there's no import tax when you um, send them out or import them into the country and it's such a competitive market that people wholesalers people cannot afford to pay that tax I pay six percent alone on all the stuff coming from Italy most people these days do not want anything to do with it they're buying in Turkey they're buying in other countries to cut out that tax but for me it's worth it imagine on any given Monday once those things clear I'm hit with a three to four thousand dollar FedEx bill just on tax on merchandise every week so imagine starting the week being out four thousand dollars that is my struggle I'll give a free rope chain whoever is brave enough to walk through these boulders. I'm telling you guys, the rattlesnakes are no joke. Um, I've seen them here actually, and that is a big fear of mine, obviously, because if brain goes down by a few fangs, there's no videos for a while. But moral of the story, guys, is um, it's been a tough month. 
I've been kind of depressed because I haven't had the change. That's what I love. That's what I love to do um, to really deal with them, show them, and give my expert advice. I like making these videos. I love the build videos, but I truly, truly love my passion is those gold chains and the best quality gold chains. So I'm going to stay patient. The good thing today is like the last week of August. So um, within a week or week and a half, I'll have the flat curb batch, the four, three, four, four and a half, five and a half chains and from four millimeter to five and a half millimeter bracelets. So I'll be back rolling again in about 10 business days. Hopefully with all this walking, I am hungry now and I am hot and tired. So we got to go get some lunch. And boom, we got lunch. I picked Sub King World Famous. They have really good sandwiches. Um, I didn't eat breakfast so I could have the sandwich for lunch because I'm still on my diet and I'm very successful at that. For once, I've been making some progress. So since we spoke earlier, gold has gone up $15 an ounce, which is crazy. It's stressful, especially when you have a lot of gold coming in. As I talked about earlier in this video, I'm really just kind of letting you guys know how it is um, because I kind of want to share it with you as to why, you know, the chains have been out of stock, manufacturers been closed all of August, and now gold's going up, so it's really stressful. But at the end of the day, it'll be okay. I get to do what I love. I'm driving my dream car, my Camaro, so life ain't that bad. I'm just really anxious to get back on my video grind and make the chain reviews, but I need to have all that gold around the neck to get your guys' respect, of course. Thank you for following me along on my off day. It was fun, I had a good time. I hope you guys enjoyed these style videos. Let me know down below, and we will see you on our next jewelry video. Pawn has definitely looked better back in its day.